Hey, what's up, Crypto Army? I'm Travis, your crypto newbie, bringing you my experiences so you don't have to learn things the hard way. Just a reminder, I'm not a financial advisor, and none of my content should be viewed as financial advice. If you like what my content offers, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and don't forget to turn on notifications so you get notified when I post more content. So the first thing we're going to take a look at today is Wire. And I get a link through SafeMoon's website. Now, when we get into the Wire's interface, I've already entered 1,000 and I've preloaded up to Ethereum, so we'll start there. But before we do, let's take a look at Ethereum's drop down here so you can see what options you have. So right now, you can see I've got Ethereum selected. USDC, we're going to take a look at next. And you can see they've got quite a bit. They've got Binance USD, but you notice there's no BNB or BSC currently that's in work because SafeMoon uses uh, both of those. So it's it's in SafeMoon's best interest if they're in work on that as well. But that's what uh, SafeMoon's been reporting back is they're in work on it. But you can see they've got quite a few options. Uniswap, USDT, a lot of your standard options are in here. So depending on if you're looking for one of these specifically or if you're just looking for a swap option, Ethereum, USDT, USDC, it's got you covered for those. But let's take a look at Ethereum. So Ethereum, we're gonna get 0.267 for a total of 1,043. And there's no next steps. I check the box and I hit next and then I've got it. After you know, card payment entered in there and all that kind of stuff, that's our number. That's what we have to record. So we're gonna re record that. All right, so we've got it loaded in our trusty Excel there so we can compare notes as we go through this. 0.267 ETH for a total cost of 1,043.23. Now let's go ahead and take a look at USDC. So USDC, we're gonna get 1,000 USDC for 1,051.27. So let's go ahead and update that. All right, so we've got our USDC updated, 1,000 for 1,051. Now let's go ahead and do USDT. All right, so for USDT, it's gonna be 1,000 or approximately 999 for 1,048.53. Go ahead and update that. All right, so now we've got our numbers in there for USDT, 999.3 for 1,048.53. And they do not have BNB or BSC, so we will not be entering that in for wire. And with that, let's go ahead and move over to Simplex. Now for BitMart, BitMart actually shows us MoonPay and Simplex and picks out what they think is the best choice between the two. And their best offer for USDC is MoonPay at 995 USDC for $1,000. But that doesn't tell us the whole story. Let's see what actually happens when we hit the buy button. So let's go ahead and hit the buy button. So for MoonPay, we're gonna get 995 USDC for 1,063.63. You can, this one actually does do breakdowns of your fees. So let's go ahead and add that into our Excel. All right, so now we've got 995 and 1,063 entered. So we can already see that wire gives us a better price for USDC. Not by much, but by enough. And keep in mind, you're only getting 995. You're not even getting a full thousand here. So let's go ahead and look at USDT also through bitmarp so we'll see what comes up first but we'll take a look at the moon pay regardless of which one's the better offer all right so now we can see for usdt we're going to get 984.7 usdt through moon pay again it's chosen as the best offer and are going to get 884.31 through simplex and again we will hit the buy button now for this one we can see that we're going to get 984.7 usdt for 1066.70 so let's go ahead and update our chart. So once again, we can see that wire is the better option between MoonPay. Not only are we getting more, but we're getting more for, for less money, which is always nice. All right, let's go take a look at Ethereum. All right, so this is what we came back with Ethereum. We're gonna get 0.2748. Again, MoonPay is selected as the better option. And we'll get 0.258 for our $1,000 here. But again, that doesn't always tell us the whole story. So let's go ahead and look at MoonPay. So now as we can see here, and we'll expand the fees once again, we're going to get 0.2749. We'll round up to 0.275 for 1,056.17. And let's go ahead and update our Excel so we can look at everything in comparison. All right, so now we've got it updated, and we can see that, once again, wire comes in ahead. Not by much. Now, 
interestingly here, you're actually going to get a little bit more Ethereum through MoonPay. So you have to actually do the math and see which one's actually giving you the better. So I, I would call this pretty close comparisons. Uh, pretty, pretty close to a tie for Ethereum. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at BNB and BSC. And for this one, we'll go back to the main screen and I'll show you what options you have while we're looking for this just to see if they have it. All right, so this is the, the main screen for BitMart. Again, this is a, a BitMart screen, so it was less important to show this portion. But as we're looking for BNB, which they have, let's go ahead and look at what else they've got. Because they do have some other stuff, obviously, because they have BNB and Wire didn't have that one. So if you're looking specifically for BNB, this might be the better option. Quite a few options. All right, let's go back and take a look at BNB. And again, we're going to look at $1,000. So as you can see here, again, MoonPay comes ahead. You might be saying, well, is Simplex ever the winner? And, and there are some times I have used Simplex to buy stuff when it's the better option. And I generally do exactly what we're doing here is I'll actually look at the total price on both before I purchase just to make sure there's no difference at the final screen. But for this one, you can see for $1,000, we're going to get 0.2184 BNB. And here we're going to get 0.206. So let's go ahead and take a look. So here again, let's look at the full full fees here. We're going to get 0.181 BNB for 1,038.80. Now in usage, my experience has been whatever that total dollar amount, that's actually what's going to hit your account. So there's no uh, slippage there on price. You may not necessarily get 0.21 or 2.183 BNB. It might be a little bit off, but it's usually pretty close. It's not a huge difference. You might be surprised to go look at what you should be able to get for a thousand dollars. You might realize you're not getting the best rate through all of these. But that's for a different video. All right, let's go ahead and update our Excel. All right, so now you can see that we've got our Excel updated. We've got 2.183. Now it's shifting, so <laughs> in real time, our numbers are actually changing on us. And 1,038.80. It's close enough for this comparison, but yes, it will update the price while you're deciding to hit the Buy Now button. So you can actually look at the market, and I've done this before too. I'll look at CoinMarketCap on, on a different screen while I watch this and CoinMarketCap usually dips before this does. So if you see a dip on CoinMarketCap on whatever you're trying to buy, if you wait a little bit longer, it should show up in MoonPay as well. Now, if you wait too long, the price can go up and you can end up losing. But if you really want to maximize, that's a, it's an approach. There, there was a day that the prices were swinging wildly across uh, for BNB specifically. We're talking $60, $70 swings in price over a short period of time. So I was trying to get the lowest possible price possible. And, and I ended up getting a pretty good price. All right, so we've done everything for MoonPay. Now, if you're looking for Binance Smart Chain or BNB specifically, right now you don't have many options because there's nothing to compare to Wire. Now, I keep coming back to Wire because, like I said, they are in the process of adding BNB. Uh, I think they're going to add BSC as well specifically. But once you have BNB swap into BSC, I don't even think it costs anything to do that swap. Let's go ahead and take a look at Simplex. All right, so we can see uh, 850.77 in comparison to 995. And if we do our comparison here, we can see that for USDC, it was 995 before. So we will take a look at uh, Simplex this time. Now for Simplex, the screen's a little bit different. All we're given is the total amount and what we're going to get for USDC. No fees. You can kind of figure the fee is in between there. Uh, the, so you just kind of have to do your own math on what the fees equate to. And in my experience, Simplex is usually pretty close to you're going to get $1,000 to your account. If it's 1000 whatever you put in, in for US dollars, that's what's going to get pulled out of your account. Same as uh, BoomPay. And let's go ahead and update our Excel. All right, so I've updated our Excel, uh, 850.778 USDC for $1,000, and the winner is Wire. In Simplex, if you can do the math there, that's 150 roughly difference. So your total price would be about $150 more for Simplex. Yeah, that's a lot.
That's why this is important. And that's why Simplex was at the bottom of the, the barrel for options between MoonPay, because MoonPay is a lot better than Simplex for USDC at this particular moment. Simplex is not something I use all the time. For me, I'm probably going to go the route of wire most of the time, as long as these continue to be competitive. That's pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and look at USDT. And for this, for the rest of these, we're not going to go back to the main screen. We're just going to go to the end result. All right, for Simplex, we can see that we're going to get, for $1,000, 883.53 USDT. So let's go ahead and update our Excel and see what happens. All right, so for this one, you can see once again, 883, we're not even in the 900, so it's not even close. It's a blowout for Simplex. All right, so we've updated our Excel and we can see once again, that wire is the winner for USDT. It's only 1,048 to get 999 versus 1,066 to get 984 through MoonPay. I'm seeing a trend here. Let's see what Ethereum does. All right, so here's Ethereum. We've got uh, 2 point, or 0 0.258 Ethereum for 1,000 USD. Let's go ahead and update our trusty Excel. All right, our Excel is updated. This one's a little closer. If you're looking to spend exactly $1,000 for simplicity, Simplex is the easier one to do because you're going to pay over $1,000 for the other one, which means you get a lower your dollar amount by approximately 40-ish dollars in order to get closer to a thousand. That's that's complicated. Uh, if you're okay with paying a little over the thousand dollars or you just plan, you, know, you just do that automatically knowing that's gonna be a little bit higher. But the, the numbers for Ethereum are also very close. Now, not so much between Simplex, 0 0.25 versus 0.26 versus 0.275. There's a good argument that these are really, really close. Is it you know, twelve, thirteen dollars difference close? It's really close. I'm still gonna go on the side of wire here. We could call ETH kind of a toss up. I still think it's probably in the the wire. It, there's a pretty good trend of wire having the better price here, but it is comparable. My recommendation would be to check all three of them. See where the best price is. Or if you've got another option, definitely put, if you've got a better option than these three, put it in the comments. You know, let people know, because I'd love to know. I hate spending more money than I have to, and I've, I'll say it repeatedly. And I think most of you are in the same boat as me. We want our money to, to, to go as far as it possibly can. And that's why we do these kinds of things to see what's the best option most of the time. If we're in a hurry, we're gonna go to the one that we know most of the time is better. I hate using Simplex and MoonPay. <laughs> I'm not going to mince words. I absolutely hate them because I've had some ridiculous fees through Simplex and MoonPay. I'm talking fees of over $150 to $200. It's ridiculous. So, yeah, I, I, I'm all for a replacement for Simplex and MoonPay. It doesn't take much uh, for me to see benefit in wire, especially since I can see it here to think that this is probably better. I wish it was even better, but it's probably the better buy between all three. And with that, let's go take a look at our BNB and Binance Smart Chain. All right, so for BNB, we get 2.062 for $1,000. So let's go ahead and update our chart and see how everything came out. All right, so we've got our winner here is MoonPay only because it's not competing against wire. Is it close? Not really. Is it $38 close? Maybe. So again, this is where, do you want to keep it under $1,000? Really the only way to know how close is to get it as close to 1038 and see what you get. That would be the best way to do it. I think these are probably pretty comparable. You're getting a little bit more here for your $38. So I actually think this one's a pretty close tie, probably even more so than up here. I think this is closer tie for these two. Just because $38, I think you might get 0.1. Will you get 0.18? I'm not sure. I think it's pretty close. I'm still going to give it to MoonPay because the system also said it was going to be MoonPay. Now it might be a fraction better. And it's funny 
that it's on BNB because this is where I normally have an option between Simplex and MoonPay and it does fluctuate. It's between the, the BNB and usually I'm using Trust Wallet. Trust Wallet uses Simplex and MoonPay and it will do the exact same thing that BitMart does is it'll make a recommendation for which one's best. And every once in a while, Simplex is recommended. Now usually that's on a day when I'm paying a ridiculous amount of in fees, which is why I don't like using Simplex and MoonPay, but they're pretty comparable. And, and I would say here we're probably pretty close, but the algorithms that BitMart uses indicated that this is probably the better option. So it's probably the better option. But in all other situations, wire is the better option. Interesting, right? So now you know you've got options. So where do you want to use where? Where's wire at? There's different wallets out there that use wire. I'm always going to push the SafeMoon one because I think that's going to be a great wallet once you start adding some of the pairs in there and doing the, the swaps and different things. But right now, wire is linked to SafeMoon. I did try to pull up Wire's website and see if they've got a list of everybody they're partnering with. They don't have everybody. They do say they're partnered with MetaMask. I'm not, I haven't had a lot of good luck with MetaMask. I've installed it, but I find Trust Wallet to be better. But I do have MetaMask Wallet also. I just generally use Trust Wallet more. Maybe if maybe if the fees are that much better on, on Wire, maybe I'll switch over to MetaMask. I'll have to think about that. That Again, Wire is relatively new. So from a wallet perspective, here's what comes up from Coinbase Wallet. And you can see it's 1049.22 is cheaper than all of our options for actually exactly a thousand USDC. And for Coinbase Wallet, generally whatever the total amount is is what's going to hit your account. So 1049.22 is going to hit your account, and you're going to get 1,000 USDC for your money. And if we go back and look at our best option, it was a dollar fifty-one, so it's a couple of dollars cheaper. Is it, is it worthwhile to use Coinbase Wallet, especially if it's not something to use? Well, maybe if you don't use Wire, maybe it's worth the $2 difference. That's for you to judge. I'm just saying that's it's cheaper. It's the better option even over Wire. What about for USDT? So for USDT, we've got 999.5 USDT for 1,048.61. And if we go back to looking at our USDT, Wire beats it by a sliver, just by a hair. Now, the entire length of time it took me to do this video is approximately 35 minutes. So in the time of 35 minutes, is it possible that the price shifted a little bit? Maybe, but it's pretty comparable between the two. I'm seeing that Wire and Coinbase Wallet have pretty competitive pricing, especially when you compare it to Simplex Mupe. What about Ethereum? Now for Coinbase Wallet and Ethereum, that's a pretty impressive price. So it's gonna be 0.28 Ethereum for $914.18. And again, I, I plugged in a thousand US dollars. I'm not exactly sure why it's so far off. If, if you push in a thousand, it really should try to maximize your input. I, I'm not sure, but even so, when you look over here, none of them are in the, the $900 range, and you're going to get 0.28 ETH, which is more. So once again, even over wire, it's a blowout. Coinbase wallet blows them out of the water. It's a much better system. You're getting a much better price. Hopefully you see the benefit of using Coinbase wallet. All right, that's it for this comparison. Hopefully you found the comparison of, of these products helpful, or at least gives you some idea on the price differences you can encounter. And on some days, the prices can be pretty significant. If it has a recommendation for one over another, generally it's a pretty good choice to go with the one that they recommend. But there are other options out there. Now you could also buy through an exchange, and depending on the transfer fees, transfer it to wherever you need it. That's always an option as well. Hopefully you found this video helpful. I reviewed the comments, so make sure you leave any suggestions, requests, or questions you might have in those so I can take a look at them. If there are any topics you want me to dive deeper into, let me know. Just a reminder, if you found my content helpful, 
hit the subscribe button, like the video, and turn on notifications so you get notified when I post new content. It really does help the channel grow and get the information to others that might find it helpful. Until next time, stay strong with those diamond hands.